In this video, we're going to create an Oracle Linux instance by using the Oracle Compute Cloud Create Instance Wizard. We're also going to add the SSH public key that we created in a previous video to the instance. The SSH private key remains on the remote host that you'll use to access the instance. This video assumes you are already logged on to the Oracle Compute Cloud service. From the Oracle Compute Cloud dashboard, click Compute, click the Open Service Console button, click the Create Instance button to start the wizard. The first thing is to select an image. You can scroll down to see the available Oracle Linux images. You can click 2 to see more images. Click 1 to return to the first screen. I'm going to select the Oracle Linux 6.8 UEK R4 image. Scroll back up. Click the right arrow to select a shape. You can view the available shapes, which define the number of CPUs, OCPUs, and the amount of memory for an instance. I'm going to select OC3. Click the right arrow to view the instance win window. I'm going to take the default active for high availability policy. Give the instance a name. I'm going to enter Craig underscore instance underscore 01. For label, I'm going to enter first instance with default values. No spaces in this field. I'll leave the description field blank and I'll leave the tag field blank. And here's where you can also add the SSH public key. So click this button. Browse to select the Windows SSH public key we generated in an earlier, earlier video. Give it a name. I'm going to enter Craig underscore Windows underscore public underscore key. Click add. And you'll see the name appears in the field now on the instance window. You also see a message up in the top right corner. I'm going to leave the custom attributes field blank. Click the right arrow to view the network window. Take all the defaults for now and configure networking in another video. Click the right arrow to view storage. I'll take the defaults here, which is a one 12 gig disk with boot drive enabled. We'll configure storage in another video. Click the right arrow to review. You'll see the SSH key and the storage and so forth. Click the create button to create the instance. And you'll see some messages appear in the top right corner of the window, such as starting orchestration, We'll be working with orchestration in another video. The instance appears with the state of preparing. You also see the number of OC OCPUs, amount of memory, volumes, addresses, IP addresses. It changes to running. Now you have both a public IP and a private IP. To summarize, in this video, we created an Oracle Linux instance on the Oracle Compute Cloud service. We used the wizard to select an Oracle Linux 6 update 8 image for the instance. We selected a shape, which defined the number of OCPUs and the amount of memory for the instance. We added the SSH public key that we had created in a previous video to the instance. And we selected the default storage and network configuration for the instance. In the next video, we'll configure security, which will allow us to access our instance on the Compute Cloud service from a remote system.